Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be talking about the four cylinders in the Honda Accords. So typically, the VTC is right here under the valve cover and the um, exhaust sprocket is on this side. And most common, the VTC goes out and lots of people recommend getting those done around 100,000 miles. Also with getting your valves retightened because they become loose over time so when the VTC goes out or how to tell if it goes out is if you get a rattle every time you start the car per se in the morning here in a bit I'll show you how the rattle sounds like mine went out not too long ago I still haven't taken it to Honda I also haven't decided if I was just gonna do it myself because it's a whole lot cheaper and I have the tools to do it. I've driven with the VTC bad for about two months. Really hasn't shown a problem with like power or anything. I haven't felt any power difference, like the car lagging or anything. With my valves needing to be done too, there is a small ticking when I have it in drive and I hold on the brake like at a red light but I can't get that noise on video I've tried I've tried to make a video for that for you guys but it, you just can't hear it on video so this next clip I'll be showing you the VTC rattle you guys just heard the rattle Lots of people say to add oil to the car, it helps with all the rattling and stuff. That doesn't help. The BTC has just gone bad. There's nothing you can do. You have to get it replaced. Lots of Honda dealerships kind of charge around, I was quoted 600. It may be different in some states, um, but also when you do get your BTC changed, they do change the chains and the guides. Take it to Honda, talk to them about it, see what you can do. But the best thing would be changing it. And if you guys have any further questions, go ahead and feel free to comment them. Please like the video and share it.